okay so um as i mentioned that this particular paper is actually a little tricky and uh, <clears throat> it might take uh, time to solve but again as i mentioned that consider it to be your exam and whatever uh, came to your mind you should have done it right so i'll uh, do one thing i'll just quickly open the paper and uh, what we can do is we can directly see um one second okay we can directly uh, so this was a term where i appeared for my cp2 exam so i can just directly share my solution with you all and that is how we can see that it's not always mandatory that your solution spreadsheet will match the solution spreadsheet of the uh, ifa it might differ a lot but at the same time what really matters is how you present your answer and whatever you are doing how well you are doing that and uh, how well you are uh, explaining everything in your audit trail right so audit trail is very very important uh, i'll just share my screen so any one of you who wants to share your paper also can do it but since i think all of you do not have have not completed it we can just quickly you know discuss uh, like my solution and in fact we can see that what i did in my solution is completely different than the solution of ifa so you all can actually relate that you know where um, marks is most where you will get the most marks so i will uh, my screen is visible okay uh, huh. sorry to interrupt just add solve one audit trail before i just was wondering if you could give me a feedback on that instead if do you mind if i solve the mock test once i could not attempt for that and then if you could check and let me know what my mistake sure uh, so this is something which uh, and where we were discussing uh, last class i think you were not there uh, most of you haven't appeared for your mocks right so we'll be conducting it again for most of you who haven't completed so what i want is instead uh, now since you haven't appeared for one mock it's better that you at least practice two three more papers first and then you appear for a mock so that uh, and we'll keep the same paper for the mock that we conducted mm -hmm. in the previous class so uh, in the previous time so i'll let you all know which paper uh, i think we did september 2023 paper in the mock if i am mm -hmm. not wrong so what you all can do is um, please uh, solve a lot of summary and audit trail and then maybe somewhere in march second week uh that is next to next week we can have a mock again right so i let you all know but till then please uh start solving papers because this will be the final mock that we'll be taking in uh because it takes a lot of time to check one mock it takes at least for us one and a half hours to one hour 40 minutes to check an entire mock paper one and paper two so uh with proper feedback so that is what i want that you all give 100% effort in that and and we are regarding your audit trail i'll check it but uh, so so i'll see if i can do it in the class um you actually skipped last class right so we yeah. can we check i can maybe check tomorrow if you can okay. solve september 2020 paper that will be better okay. so that you know we can discuss mock of uh, audit trail of this particular paper itself sure and I... uh, and 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 that's not an issue like we have a lot of classes um uh, in future as well so i can any time discuss your audit trail first no problem okay okay uh, so palak okay. i let you all know that exactly because see even uh, so i am not the only one who is checking the mock uh, we have a team of two people me and one more person is there so it also depends on the other papers that we have in hand and also the april exams uh, i don't have any exam to appear for but the other one has and secondly uh, we have other papers to check as well so i plan it out accordingly i'll discuss it with sir praveen sir and i'll get back on that as to when we'll keep the mock but 
Till then, I hope at least in a week, since uh, those who are just appearing for CP2 or maybe just CP2, CP3 can at least practice uh, one entire paper in a week. Like if you if you take if you take uh, April 21 paper, then paper one and paper two both you can practice in a week, right? And maybe writing one auditorial, one summary in a week is fine. Uh, so, um, which which paper do you suggest for the upcoming class so that the audit trail could be discussed? I'll I'll let you all know towards there. so last week I mentioned we'll be doing September 2020. I'll let you all know which paper. Okay. Oops. Towards the end of the class, yeah. Okay. Or you can solve this paper as well. We can discuss it tomorrow, no issues. Because summary, uh, the paper two for this particular uh paper was not very um you know um difficult. It was easy, but at the same time there was one uh tricky part over there otherwise the summary and the paper two portion was very simple so we don't uh, like we'll not have we'll not have to spend a lot of time for paper two but definitely tomorrow we can have a longer class uh duration today uh it's already 10 i'll have to end the class by 10 55 tomorrow we can keep a longer class and we'll finish at least september 2020 paper one and paper two both right so since uh okay mihika is saying april 21 maybe i'm not very sure mihika if you have uh, solved the mock exam then what we can do is uh i'll let you all know that exactly which paper i'll be taking as a mock maybe september 2023 also we can take as a mock right because that's the recent most paper okay uh, ma'am uh, sorry huh. just one this thing in audit trail uh, what i get confused about is uh, in like how should the formulas that we've used how should we mention that in the audit trail like should we ex exactly explain each and every formula and how does it work as i have just a brief about what is being calculated in that particular cell or in that formula would do see uh that depends most of the times you just write the name of the formula for example if you are saying that i've calculated this current value or maybe there is one this cumulative value uh, so you can just simply write cumulative return return on the fund was calculated using the product function year on year multiplying all the uh, returns for each year using product function that's it sometimes you need to explain it entirely for example if we are using a vlookup function so sometimes you can just write maybe this particular value was extracted using vlookup function um, wherein the lookup value was taken from this particular column you can mention the column number and this particular table so see many a times you just write the name of the function and explain it in a line or two but for example sometimes if you're using a nested if function and you need to you know um, explain the steps that you have done for example you've taken two three if statements together then you can do it in points manner so it depends and honestly this will uh so this will obviously come with more practice the more you solve uh audit trails and the more you read the examiner's report what solution they have shared with you and we discuss in class sometimes it's just a function just a, sometimes it's a deeper explanation and you will also understand okay this is an important part of the paper which needs to be explained in details so that is when you will uh, explain it in details and sometimes it's just a very simple function or simple thing that you have done so one line or two line or will do so that depends uh, it's not something which is specific like generic it's very specific to each solution like in this case also we'll be discussing completely about the funds uh, how the funds are projected but these are very simple calculations so this can you just write one line so i hope all of you have read the paper at least uh anyone who hasn't read we can quickly uh, go through it then anyone who hasn't read the september just quickly raise your hand all of you september 2020 paper one i've read the question and where have you read it oh uh, yes okay so i think all of you have actually read it so it's fine um so i can just straight away maybe start with the question right and uh they've given these uh as well um 
I think there was an issue with this particular formula. This is actually wrong. One plus, so this is a approximation maybe they have taken. But if you have used this formula, oh, it's fine. If you, you use the corrected correct formula for I-12, because this is not the formula for I-12. This was one mistake, I think, which they also mentioned it in the audit trail for paper one. Mm. I think somewhere they wrote about this that there was a mistake in I-12 calculation. Ma'am, I think it's the last paragraph on this screen. Yes, ma'am. Slide change. The starting line. The uh, one above it. Okay, when it comes to calculating. Uske bhi upar. Achha. Yeah, this one. Ye wa, haan, this one. So there was an error in the additional guidance, whereas uh, where A minus 1 was uh, missed in the interest formula. So basically this part. Oh, the, mm, nahi, hi. So basically here is minus 1, hota, uh, which is missing in this paper. And this 12 bhi galat hai actually. So this would have been... Uh, different this formula is wrong so if you have used this formula for some of you who do, don't remember the exact formula and might have used it it's fine and sorry those who use the correct formula like i think i used the correct formula that is also fine they have given marks for both so it's fine don't have to waste a lot of time if they've given anything and this is not the first time they've given few wrong formulas in past papers as well so you can just skip it and either take it this one or if you're sure about the correct formula, you can take that one as well. So uh, this is a, uh, you are an actual student working at ABC. ABC sold a number of regular savings policy between 1990 and 2010. Approximately 8,000 of these policies are not have not reached maturity yet. Um, the product enables policy holders to invest regular uh, monthly premiums at maturity the policy holder receives a payout equal to the accumulated value of the fund for their policy based on the actual return on the assets underlying the policy provided uh, the accumulated value of the fund is greater than the minimum guarantee if the accumulated value is lower than the minimum guarantee then the policy holder will receive the minimum guarantee figure i'm just reading it quickly uh, so that if you have read it few days back then you can quickly remember everything the minimum guaranteed fund value um, is calculated like this for a n-year policy so p this is the minimum guarantee figure um, p is the premium into 12 into 1 plus i 12 to the power n so this is the annuity figure basically uh, where i12 is the annual minimum guaranteed investment return and d12 is the effective discounting rate both compounded monthly the difference between the guaranteed maturity value and the accumulated maturity value for the policy is the cost of the guarantee. So basically, any difference between the guaranteed value and the accumulated value, if the accumulated value is lower than the guaranteed value, then that is a cost to the company. The cost of the guarantee is subject to zero. Obviously, if uh, the guarantee, if the fund value is higher than the guaranteed value, then there will be no cost. These are the other features. Policy holder can pay, pay the premium at the start of each month uh, of between 20 and 500 per month. Maximum term of the product is 30 years. Actual investment return on the fund is credited to the policy monthly. So it's the return is credited monthly. It's of maximum 30, uh, 30 years and this is the premium amount. Um, the annual minimum guaranteed investment is 2%. So this is the I, not I-12, I per annum rate. The uh, alteration, no alterations to the policy are made during the year uh, or whenever the policy starts. The minimum guarantee applies at the policyholder's chosen maturity date. If policyholder surrenders early, then only the accumulated. So no 
surrender minimum guarantee is given on surrender basically the company monitors the guarantee um the current guarantee value that is premium accumulated using the formula above and the current value of the guarantee to the current value of guarantee to assess the likelihood of the cost so the company is monitoring both the current guaranteed value which is there and the um fund value right so due to lower than expected investment returns achieved by assets underlying over the several years um the current value of the, some policies is below the guarantee this is what they are saying that the fund values are very low compared to the guarantee unless future uh, returns are higher benefits paid will be higher than the accumulated value and there will be a large cost to the company your boss has been uh, asked to run a project to analyze the options available to reduce the level of the guarantee he has uh, asked you to undertake an in initial investment into the uh, guarantee cost for abc as at the last valuation date so this is the valuation date last valuation date where we have to calculate do the investigation based on the data from a sample of policies this investigation involves comparing the current accumulated value to the current guaranteed value if each policy were to mature now in addition your boss has asked you to consider various options for making an offer to policy holder to accept the increased fund value now in exchange for a removal of guarantee so basically there are a few options that we are considering uh we can settle off the policies now itself by paying some higher amount of uh, fund value that and so the guarantee uh, thing will be not there uh these are the three options we are considering policies grouped by issue of year year of issue whenever the policies were issued so it's grouped according to the year 2016 let's suppose 2015 whatever i think policies were issued long back between 1990 and 2010 okay so it's accordingly grouped in these 20 years all policies issued in a single year will get a same uplift so you have a fund value that the funds have achieved so there will be an uplift so for example the fund value has accumulated to 100 i will give a 10% increase so 110 is what i am paying to the policy holder right now grouped by maturity which is a uh, term of maturity 20 years 30 years maturity all policy holder same uh, with same number of full years remaining get the same percentage of uplift so for example remaining term we have to check the remaining term uh policy is grouped by fund size all policy is grouped into 10 fund size bands so there will be 10 fund size policies in the same band gets the same uplift under each option for each group the uplift will be set at a level such that the increase in the value of the fund is equal to the average cost of guarantee expressed as a percentage across policies in the group that have the cost of guarantee for each for example um so they've explained it this very nicely 10 policies with 20 years remaining to maturity and three for example they have grouped first we have to group the policies now in one group let's say suppose this group where there are 10 policies with 20 years remaining so three of these policies have a cost of guarantee meaning they have a value of fund which is lower than guaranteed amount rest of the funds are fine so out of these three have an average cost of guarantee expressed as a percentage of fund value of 8% so so they have a how to take out the cost of guarantee guaranteed value minus the fund value divided by the fund value so it's 8% then the proposal would be that all the 10 policies will receive an uplift of 8% even though the seven policies were just above the guaranteed value still all of them will receive a 8% uplift okay ma'am ha 
I'm cost of guarantee. I did not understand like the uh, the formula you were saying. Uh, cost of guarantee is the guaranteed value. Guaranteed mm -hmm. value is calculated using this minus the accumulated fund value at that point of time is the okay. cost of guarantee, and the percentage is on the basis of fund value. So basically, cost of, uh, the guaranteed amount minus the fund value divided by the fund value. ठीक है तो वो परसेंटेज आ गया ना इन टू हंड्रेड कर दो हाँ सो देखो ना वेन वी आर रीडिंग इट आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू आर इमेजिनिंग इट कि चलो अभी रीड करे सो इट्स इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड वी आर बट ऑब्वियसली दिस वेन यू रीड इन द एग्जाम प्रेशर इट बिकम्स वेरी आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पेपर्स ऑफ सी पी टू सो फार बिकॉज आई हैव सीन ऑल दो पास पेपर्स एटलीस्ट आप कहीं तक कुछ तो कर पाओगे ठीक है बट इन दिस पेपर आई फेल दैट एवरी स्टूडेंट गॉट स्टक इवन दो इफ यू आर सॉल्विंग आउट ऑफ एग्जाम राइट नाउ आप लोग स्टक हो गए ही हो गए सो दिस इज एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पेपर्स ऑफ द एंटायर सी पी टू यू हैव अपडेन एन एक्सेल इट कंटेन्स अ सैम्पल ऑफ policies that were active in the last valuation date which is 2019 obtained by taking every 80th policy from the list so there are 8000 policies as they have mentioned every 80th policy they have taken so there will be how many if they have taken every 80th policy there will be 100 policies right you suspect that some manual manipulation might have been undertaken you have heard that the process used to extract uh, from the administration system had certain issues but you do not know the exact details there are therefore some concerns over the quality of the data the data provided in a is a modified extract from the administration and includes these separately you have sourced a record of annual investment per calendar year these have come from the investment team now this is important for your audit trail where you write the um, source of the data in the data section due to the concerns regarding the quality of the data your boss is asked you to do the data checks these are the modeling portion i am not reading it right now and they have given average if sum if so for calculating the average cost of guarantee you can use average if function this similarly fun works uh, so you can also use a sum ifs and count ifs instead of average ifs um if error function if there is any error so they have explained this formula i12 and d12 so we can now i think straight away move to the question so here again 29 marks for the modeling part and this part is again 30 now this other checks over here which you see is a reasonableness check earlier in uh, past papers like 2000 till i think 2020 20 or april 21 you got the reasonableness checks in the spreadsheet portion but now they put this four marks over here in the audit trail so basically this would have been 9 plus 29 okay that is 38 marks if you consider it what you can get now um but yeah they might also include the reasonableness checks in the spreadsheet as well so that depends on the paper um it if they have included the other checks in the uh, spreadsheet portion then make sure you write the reasonableness check in the spreadsheet as well and copy paste that into your word file okay so this is something which we'll do let's start with the question now perform checks on the validity of the following data items uh provided in the sample now most of you uh, like might have got a problem while doing data checks now see if you are not able to do the data check this does not uh, confine to your uh, like this does not um you are not basically just dependent on this data check if you are not able to do the data check i feel you can straight away move to the second question but for 3 marks if you are wasting a lot of time 10 15 minutes 
thinking over it and doing whatever you can it's better you just leave it and move ahead whatever you do do just take 5 minutes and just move ahead you don't have so much of time in exam to you know put 15 minutes in this 3 mark question so what all checks have you all done tell me this is the policy data anyone who has done the checks can quickly tell me what all checks you have done If the annual premium is between uh, the given, uh, uh, I think twenty and five hundred something is given. So, if the premium is between that and the start date uh, is between nineteen ninety and two thousand ten, so annual premium check is uh, to check whether the uh, premium is between whatever the amounts they gave. Um, It's between twenty and five hundred per month. So you just multiply it with twelve, and you check whether the annual premium is between that. Yes, ठीक है. फिर next term should not be more than thirty years. ठीक है. Term should not be more than thirty years, and also you can check whether it's negative or not. So more than zero and less than thirty. And start date, uh, like the year is between nineteen nineteen two thousand ten. Correct. So it should be between that. It cannot be higher than that or less than ninety ninety. Okay. So parameters. Uh, these are the basic parameters. Fund band size is something that they have taken for the uh, grouping, which I think we can do it later on. Not necessary. But these are something which. Uh, so this is two percent. This they have calculated I twelve. They have used the correct formula. One plus I by twelve. To the part twelve minus one, but again I feel this formula is also wrong because the formula should have been one plus I whole to the power one by twelve minus one entire thing multiplied by twelve. So they have not also taken; they have just taken a they have not taken a correct formula. What we do, okay? So if you have taken the correct, I think I can open my solution as well. Uh, I will share my solution spreadsheet with you all. ठीक है. So this is how what I did. I made the uh, parameter sheet. I earlier I don't know why I used to mark it in green, but it's wrong because in earlier papers they did it. I think it's fine if you don't mark it and just mark it in blue. Whatever calculations you have done. So these need to be, uh, you know, I use the same formula just that I just. Did this minus one? Okay, so even I have done this minus one, and I've calculated the twelve as they have mentioned in total policy. So these are the, and I've renamed the cell as per to what I've written on the left. So I took this entire thing, and I used the shortcut Control Shift F three, and just the left row and clicked on OK. So I have quickly renamed all the cells. Okay, uh, this I have done, and then move to the validation. So first, let us see what they have done to validate the result. So to check, they have to check the start date. They have written it. Okay, it should be less than this. It should not be less than start date or more than. And there is one error. Premium should again be not. Uh, so they have divided the premium by twelve. It should not be less than minimum or greater than maximum. There is again one. mistake and the term again so for the term what they have done they have you know made it a little different uh, i think this is something which we might not this might not strike us in exam so what they have done they have taken the year uh, of the start date added the term to it so basically what they are trying to check is that whether this particular policy Still exists at the point of valuation date, which is first thirty first December twenty nineteen. So how can you check that if the policy started in twenty two thousand four, and if the term is twenty seven years? So just add twenty seven years to that and check whether it is greater than thirty first January twenty nineteen. This is what they have done. See. Um, Thirty-four. This is the valid validation 
uh, valuation date and that is obviously this is something which is a little difficult in exam to understand uh, or maybe do it but see this is what they have done year may they have added term this is the month this is the day so ye pura date aa gaya now this date should be if it is less than the valuation date then there is an error otherwise it's not so we have two errors i obviously did it in another way i took start date similarly well uh, annual premium is fine but this term for the term i took it it should be greater than 0 and less than equal to 30 so i hope i think this is what most of you have done right yes ma'am and uh, here there is one self check which i did on the data again to check the maximum uh, and the maximum possible should not be more than 500 into 12 which is 6000 so there is one mistake over here right um here in this entire data i because see honestly what i should have done is i should have counted all the checks over here so i could have used a count if function and count if how many uh, values from this contains the word check theek hai so there is one check over here so similarly i should have just done this to see how many errors are there but what i did is i maybe have used filtering and maybe marked the checks in red just that i have done i have not calculated the total uh you should have done it although in exam so here there is an error here there is an error i cannot find an error over here because the check which i gave was not appropriate it should have been something like this now let's see how much marks and let's see what i did to change this um so i made corrections and what i did was here there was a mistake that your start date is 1910 so what i did is i took this as 2010 and i wrote in my audit trail that there was a typing mistake instead of 2010 someone has written 1910 theek hai this is something which i did uh then yahan pe again there is a mistake in the uh policy value like the premium now i think i made this 6000 directly oh i made it 694 so i said that maybe the zero is written by mistake should should have been 694 this is what i did in my exam let's see what they have done uh so they have few errors over here one error is here where you have the date and obviously they have also made it 2010 so then it's fine the next error is here with the policy amount they have made it 6000 i made it 694 they have taken the uppermost value which is 6000 i feel both of it is fine whatever do you you do in your exam i don't think any other checks they have given acha they have changed one more because this is this is something which i skipped so only two errors i could find and i made changes accordingly what i felt and gave the explanation the third error which i skipped i could not find this error is that any policy which started in 1990 If you add twenty nine years to it, it is actually over by two thousand nineteen, right? It's actually over by two thousand nineteen. So instead of nineteen ninety, they have made it nineteen ninety one. This is a uh, error which I completely skipped. So how much marks I got? I'll show you all. Uh, see, so they have. in the examiners ha ma'am huh. ma the changes uh, you have made to the errors are hard coded or any formula you have used for that no like no that? hard coded okay. hard coded okay. because changes you cannot have see hard coded you cannot put any um if you are changing a if you are manually changing a data you cannot use any formula i think unless you have a formula so here i did not have any formula ओके ओके है 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 ना मैंने मैंने बोला बोला कि कि मिस्टेक इधर इधर मतलब के के बदले बदले एंड एक एरर तो तो स्किप भी कर दिया बिकॉज़ वो किया ही नहीं देखो 
they have given three marks to this maybe i lost one mark i'll show you all what i got in my ye mera marking distribution hai so out of three one marker gave me two one marker gave me 2.5 and i got 2.25 बेसिकली so टू जिसने दिया है वो इसने दिया कि एक एरर तो ढूंढा ही नहीं एंड मे बी टू सो एनी वेयर समवेयर आप बोल नहीं सकते कि एग्जामिनर्स आपको क्या मार्क्स देंगे सो टू एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव आप टू समझो ना कि टू मिला है वन एरर यू कुड नॉट फाइन राइट तो ऐसा नहीं कि इसमें बहुत टाइम वेस्ट कर देना है जो भी समझ में आए बस करके आगे बढ़ना है आप ज्यादा टाइम नहीं वेस्ट कर सकते इस पर I think next question was very very difficult. The most difficult question of the entire paper is to validate the current fund value. This is of six marks. So, many. In this, honestly, when I appeared for the paper, it was COVID during COVID. I had done a lot of practice in auditorial and summary, so I was very confident about it. This um, six mark question, I had literally 15-20 minutes waste. Kiya tha. and i could only complete my paper because i was so fast in my audit trail i finished my entire audit trail i show you all how many like the number of pages which i wrote in my audit trail i uh, completed this entire thing in one hour 5 10 minutes the entire audit trail so see it's of six pages i don't think it's a very ideal uh, audit trail which i have written but still since i mentioned that it was a huge time crunch that i was facing to yahi main bol rahi hu ki agar aapko nahi aaye na ab skip karke bhado that is what they have written the remaining modeling parts does not depend on the question 2 just skip it if you are not able to solve it validate the current fund value of the policies by calculating an estimate using the sample policy data and the return information provided make appropriate assumption regarding the timing of returns earned on the premiums paid during the year in any given year now the thing is ki aapko dekhna hai so basically this is the ifo solution this is the policy data where you have the current value so you need to validate this अभी क्या है कि जो आपका पॉलिसी इशू हो रहा है दैट इज हैपनिंग एनी वे बिटवीन द योर बिटवीन द मंथ एनी टाइम इट्स हैपनिंग सो फॉर एग्जांपल दिस पॉलिसी इज इशूड ऑन ट्वेल्थ नवंबर सो ऑब्वियसली द प्रीमियम इज आल्सो पेड ऑन ट्वेल्थ नवंबर तो अभी आप क्या करोगे किसी का ट्वेल्थ नवंबर है किसी का थर्टीन नवंबर है तो आप अज्यूम करोगे मिडवे आपको प्रीमियम मिल रहा है सो इन द एंटायर मंथ मिडवे यू आर गेटिंग द प्रीमियम एंड दैट इज हाउ योर funds are accumulating this is very basic assumption that anyone can make theek hai now investment returns kaise diye hue hain dekh lo so ye year diya hua hai from 1992 i think 2019 returns diye hue hain one plus i they, this is what they have only done and product of cumulative return basically every year on year cumulative return is given from this is up till 2019 तो so, 1990 से लेके 2019 तक का क्या रिटर्न है दे हैव गिवन नाउ नेक्स्ट व्हाट दे हैव डन फर्स्ट आई शो यू दैट एंड देन आई शो यू व्हाट आई हैव डन सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कुड सॉल्व दिस पार्ट दो हैव सॉल्व हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कुड सॉल्व how many of you could solve this part no one kriti palak ha ma ma couldn't anyone who could actually just do anything whatever came to your mind kisi ne nahi kara ठीक है सो आई ऑल्सो थिंक दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पार्ट ऑफ द एंटायर पेपर सो फर्स्ट लेट एस सी देर सोल्यूशन एंड देन आई डिस्कस माई सोल्यूशन विथ यूर सो यहां पर इन्होंने ये दिस इज सिंपली वॉट दे हैव डन नाउ 
अब क्या किया इन्होंने पहले साल का निकाला है कि फर्स्ट ईयर ऑब्वियसली समवन हैज टेकन पॉलिसी नवंबर और अप्रैल और मार्च तो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर ईयर द पर्सन इज नॉट पेइंग द इंटायर ईयर्स प्रीमियम सो नाउ फर्स्ट थिंग दे हैव कैलकुलेटेड हाउ मेनी प्रीमियम्स द पर्सन हैज मेड इन दैट ईयर ठीक है उसके बाद उसको अक्यूमुलेट किया है योर एंड पे तो अगर किसी ने पॉलिसी लिया नवंबर में सो देर आर टू प्रीमियम्स नवंबर एंड दिसंबर अक्यूमुलेट द इंटायर थिंग टू दिसंबर एंड ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर एंड देन आफ्टर दैट एवरी ईयर ऑब्वियसली द पर्सन इज पेइंग प्रीमियम फॉर द होल होल ईयर टिल 2019 सो अक्यूमुलेट दैट टू टिल टू दैट इज ऑट दे हैव डन नाउ so how they have calculated the number of premiums in the first year will be 12 minus month of this which is 12 minus 11 is 1 plus 1 kyunki us month ka bhi aapko count karna hai so total two premiums november and december value of these premium at the end of the year now they have made an assumption of middle of the month that the premiums are being paid middle of the month so firstly <clears throat> they have taken the premium amount this is the premium amount and this is yearly premium so i'll divide it by 12 so they have divided it by 12 okay how many premiums are there two premiums so 540 divided by 12 into 2 is the total number of total amount of premium received in november and december together now accumulate this to the end of the year now uh, the premium if you have received in november middle of november let's suppose is accumulated for 1.5 years premium received in december middle is accumulated for 0.5 years so how they have done it they have taken a total that everything is being accumulated for 2 months theek hai unhone ye approximation kiya kaise kiya dekho so uh, we look up se sabse pehle we take out the kaun sa hum log ko accumulation uh, return use karna hai so this is your 2004 so i'll be using 2004 data which is this theek hai so i'll be using 7.5% so using we look up from this table i will extract this 7.5 or maybe this 1.075 dekh lo अच्छा दिस इज ऑल्सो वन कैलकुलेशन डे डेट जहां पे दे हैव टेकन आउट क्यूमुलेटिव रिटर्न विथ हाफ ऑफ द फर्स्ट ईयर बेसिकली टेकिंग द दिस ईयर टेकिंग नाइनटीन नाइनटी एज हाफ अ ईयर एंड ऑल द रेस्ट वैल्यूज एज फुल ईयर सो एनी पॉलिसी इशूड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी आई विल कंसिडर फॉर दैट पॉलिसी हाफ अ ईयर ऑफ अक्यूमुलेशन and from 1991 onwards there will be pura pura saal ka accumulation so this is full year accumulations from 2019 to 2000 uh, 1991 sorry to 2019 okay and half a year accumulation of 1990 so this multiplied by 1 plus i of 1990 whole to the power 0.5 is this clear this column is clear to all of you Yes. Then can we not make a assumption that pay uh, premiums come at the start of the month? Directly? You can make an assumption, oh. but the thing is, uh, the only wrong, uh, the the only thing wrong over there is that when the policy is issued on twelfth November, then where do you take this premium coming? Like first of the month. Oh uh, yeah. But then that would actually not make sense, Madam. See, in in exam point of view, if you are making any such assumption make sure you write it properly in your audit trail and you do the correct cal calculations accordingly theek okay, hai for example if i have made a assumption ki start of the month mein mil raha hai and i have mentioned the same in audit trail and i am doing the calculations same similarly to marks mil jayega full marks you will not get definitely because your calculations will uh, your answers will be different but again aapko marks uska milega they will not deduct a lot of marks this is what i'll show you like what i did i also did wrong matlab maine bhi pura hi galat kara tha matlab ab fir ye assumption section mein we'll have to mention it right ha ha in the assumption section correct ma'am could you explain that uh, column e once again 
दिस इज बेसिकली ना हाफ अ ईयर ऑफ अक्यूमुलेशन सो बेसिकली फर्स्ट ईयर इसको आप रीड करो हाफ अ ईयर ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर सो नाइनटीन नाइनटी में अगर कोई पॉलिसी खरीद रहा है ठीक है तो उस ईयर को हम लोग हाफ मानेंगे एंड नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन ऑनवर्ड्स पूरा पूरा मानेंगे तो नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन से लेके टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन तक तो ये पूरा का प्रोडक्ट हो गया विच इज दिस वैल्यू थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स एंड नाइनटीन नाइनटी का हाफ ईयर सो वन प्लस आई टू दीपा पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज वॉट यू है देख लो ठीक है क्या यस ओके सो अभी क्या करा है इन्होंने यहाँ पे वी लुक अप यूज करके यहाँ इसका देव टेकिन द योर ऑफ दिस एंड देव टेकिन द इंटायर टेबल जो इस शीट में हमने देखा एंड थर्ड कॉलम बेसिकली वन प्लस आई वाला कॉलम एक्सट्रैक्ट करा दिस कॉलम ठीक है सो इन टू थाउजेंड फोर वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव ठीक है फॉर टू थाउजेंड फोर वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड and that 1.05 or 075 to the power uh, someone wants to say something uh so 1.075 to the power 2 by 24 ye 2 by 24 actually isliye kiya na kyunki middle of the month aap maan rahe ho so actual mein hona chahiye 2 by 12 2 by 12 kyun kyunki 1 plus i is the annual number ध्यान से सुनना I is the annual return. So वन प्लस आई टू दी पार टू बाई ट्वेल्व करेंगे टू मंथ अक्यूमुलेशन का बट क्योंकि हम मिडल ऑफ द मंथ मान रहे हैं सो टू बाई ट्वेल्व इन टू वन बाई टू भी करेंगे ठीक है सो इट बिकम्स टू बाई ट्वेंटी फोर इज इट क्लियर वन प्लस आई टू दी पार टू बाई ट्वेल्व विल गिव यू टू मंथ्स का अक्यूमुलेशन बट आप क्या बोल रहे हो कि मिडल ऑफ द मंथ हो रहा है सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल जब मिडल ऑफ द ईयर लेते हैं तो क्या करते हैं वन प्लस आई टू दीपार पॉइंट फाइव ना तो मिडल ऑफ द मंथ करना है तो वन प्लस आई टू दीपार टू बाई ट्वेल्व फॉर टू इंटायर मंथ इन टू पॉइंट फाइव फॉर मिडल ऑफ द मंथ सो दैट इज वेयर टू बाई ट्वेंटी फोर इज कमिंग फ्रॉम इज दिस क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू इज दिस क्लियर Okay, so this is the value of the fund at the end of the year one, which is this is the value of the fund ninety one at the end of two thousand four. Okay, I'll remove the filter ones. Now here ninety ninety. So ये हो गया. अब इन लोग क्या कर रहे हैं ना? अब इन लोग every year from ninety ninety to two thousand nineteen तक का देखो. 2019 तक का ईयर ऑन ईयर अक्यूमुलेट करें करेंगे तो क्या कर रहे हैं इस पूरे टेबल में ऑब्वियसली फर्स्ट दे विल चेक वेदर दिस पॉलिसी इज एग्जिस्टिंग इन 1990 और नॉट इफ इट डस देन उसको अक्यूमुलेट करेंगे तो यहाँ पे क्या फंक्शन यूज किया है इफ दिस वैल्यू 1990 इज इक्वल टू द ईयर ऑफ दिस तो ये जो नाइन्टी है अगर ये दोनों इक्वल है इफ दीज टू आर इक्वल then this 91 figure is accumulated to the end of 2019 how they have accumulated this first they will take the year of to so basically dhyan se samajhna agar ye dono equal hai theek hai agar ye dono equal hai to let me take some 1990 year ha ye wala dekho let's take this value तो ये नाइनटीन नाइनटीन ये नाइनटीन नाइनटी इक्वल है ठीक है नॉ दिस 756 इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंड एट द ईयर वन विच इज नाइनटीन नाइनटी का एंड का वैल्यू है ये अब ये नाइनटीन नाइनटी के एंड का आ गया अब इस नाइनटीन नाइन थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर नाइनटीन नाइनटी पे जो ये 756 है इसको लेके जाना है हमें थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर पे तो वो कैसे लेके जाएंगे सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय आप ये वाला वैल्यू करोगे दिस अक्यूमुलेशन दिस अक्यूमुलेशन इज फ्रॉम 1991 से 2019 का एंड यस और नो टेल मी ये जो वैल्यू 756 आया दिस 756 इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंड एट द एंड ऑफ योर वन विच इज 1990 का एंड जैसा अभी मैंने इधर बताया 
नौ इसको यहाँ पे क्या कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे इन लोग निकाल रहे हैं देखो वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रीमियम इन ईच ईयर अक्यूमुलेटेड टू वैल्यूएशन डेट सो वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रीमियम इन ईच ईयर एट द एंड ऑफ वैल्यूएशन डेट व्हिच इज दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट 756 फिफ्टी सिक्स इन टू थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स वन वन तो इसको कैसे करे इफ दीज टू इयर्स आर इक्वल देन टेक दिस अमाउंट जी थर्टीन इन टू वी लुक अप यूज किया नाइनटीन वाला वैल्यू सो नाइनटीन प्लस वन नाइनटीन using the same table and extracting the fourth column and what is the fourth column this is your fourth column theek hai extracting the fourth column and multiplying it to ye aapka answer aa jayega now let us suppose if these two are not equal so this is not equal theek hai kya case ho sakta hai either this 1990 can be greater than this or this can be less than this so if it is greater this is a second condition if this year is greater than this year iska kya matlab hai the policy is already existing at your 1990 same iske liye dekh lo na to yahan pe ye condition hold true kar raha hai 1991 is greater than 1990 to already existing hai matlab is case mein kya karenge is case mein hum log step ye wala value khali lenge 1860 which is the premium for that year एंड इसको हम लोग स्ट्रेट अवे मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे अक्यूमुलेटिंग फैक्टर से विच इज दिस सो सी थर्टीन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वी लुकअप में आप ये वाला वैल्यू देख रहे हो पूरे टेबल का एंड फिफ्थ कॉलम एक्सट्रैक्ट करो फिफ्थ कॉलम क्या था कि 1991 का हाफ ईयर अक्यूमुलेशन लेंगे एंड बाकी साल का पूरा पूरा अक्यूमुलेशन सो दिस वन एट सिक्स जीरो इन टू वन प्लस आई the return you are earning in the year 1991 to the power 0.5 because 1860 aapko pure saal mila hai pure saal 1991 ka pura saal aapko ye 1860 mila hai isko aap accumulate kar rahe ho half a year se so 1 plus i whole the power 0.5 and then wo jo accumulate ho gaya 1991 ke end mein ab isko aap le ja rahe ho pura full accumulation karke 31st december 2019 tak so you are extracting the fifth column which is this value This value. Is, is value is value meaning half half a a year 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 of 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 accumulation accumulation 91 that 1860 is accumulated half year for first year, and accumulate karke le jayenge, end mein. so that is a, this is nothing but the accumulation of the premium 1860 received in the year 1991 एक से डाउट था कि अभी यही केस में जो स्टार्ट डेट ऑफ पॉलिसी फोर्थ ऑगस्ट 1990 तो वील अक्यूमुलेटेड फर्स्ट टू डिसम्बर 1990 एंड देन मतलब आई डिड नॉट पहले तो ये वाला आप कर, आपने यहाँ पे कर दिया अक्यूमुलेट 1990 के एंड में आपने ये वाला चीज अक्यूमुलेट कर दिया है सेवन इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रीमियम रिसीव्ड इन योर नाइनटीन जो मैंने यहाँ डिस्कस किया सेम है ना हाँ. ये आपने अक्यूमुलेट कर दिया 1990 के एंड पे अब ये जो 1990 के एंड पे आपने अक्यूमुलेट किया इसको आप अक्यूमुलेट करके लेके जा रहे हो 2019 तक विच इज दिस पार्ट आपने ये 756 को अक्यूमुलेट किया है 1990 के uh, 2019 के एंड में ये हो गया अब 1991 में जो आपको प्रीमियम आया विच इज 1860 पूरा आएगा ना पूरा साल ओके ओके गॉड इसको हुँ. आप लेके जा रहे हो अगेन टू का एंड में 1991 के लिए विल बी हाफ ईयर अक्यूमुलेशन एंड उसके बाद इट विल बी फुल फुल इयर्स का अक्यूमुलेशन सो दैट इज वाई दे यूज द फिफ्थ कॉलम एंड दिस दे हाफ ईयर का 1991 मिडल ऑफ द मंथ का हमारा था ना असम्शन अच्छा तो ये हो गया फॉर एवरी नाउ फॉर सम केसेस लाइक दिस जहां पे आपका ईयर ऑफ स्टार्ट इज मोर देन दिस ईयर तो ऑब्वियसली उस समय तो पॉलिसी स्टार्ट ही नहीं हुआ ना इसीलिए आपको इधर जीरो आ रहा है द फर्स्ट वैल्यू यू आर गेटिंग इज इन टू थाउजेंड फोर दिस इज नथिंग बट वन ट्वेंटी एट इज नथिंग बट नाइनटी वन अक्यूमुलेटेड टिल दी एंड ऑफ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन तो नाइनटी वन को किससे मल्टीप्लाई किया इन्होंने इससे देखो टू थाउजेंड फाइव का इस वाला फैक्टर से सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई आई थिंक नाइनटी वन समवेयर था You are getting 128. देख लो यू आर गेटिंग वन ट्वेंटी एट मैम हाँ 
इस केस में हम आ, हर साल के लिए करंट वैल्यू एज ऑफ 2019 क्यों निकाल रहे हैं वाई आर एंट बी डूइंग ईयर ऑन ईयर ग्रोथ जो है ईयर ऑन ईयर ही तो किया हमने नहीं बट जैसे से फॉर नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर हमने रो सिक्स में हमने उसकी वैल्यू निकाली टिल ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन हम वो सिर्फ नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव तक निकाल के क्यों नहीं कर रहे हैं इसमें हाँ जैसे इस केस में और मे बी उसके नीचे वाले में पॉलिसी स्टार्टिंग इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू तो हम नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू वाला जो इसका सेल है इसमें हम वैल्यू निकाल रहे हैं एज ऑफ थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन सब में तो वही कर रहे हो आप बट हाँ वो हम क्यों कर रहे हैं हम उसको ईयर ऑन ईयर क्यों नहीं निकाल रहे ईयर ऑन ईयर ही तो हुआ ये ये इसका क्या मतलब है इसका मतलब है कि नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू में आपको जो भी प्रीमियम मिले ठीक है वो आपने एंड ऑफ द ईयर तक आप लेके गए सेवेंटी सेवेंटी एट सेवन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एट आया This is the value of the premium at the end of 1992. टू ठीक है ओके फिर इसको अक्यूमुलेट करें टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन तक तो आपने ये योर ऑन योर ही तो लिया है ये वाला अच्छा ठीक है सो जैसे बेसिकली एक सेकेंड तो बेसिकली ये अमाउंट क्या है आप इस अमाउंट को कैसे समझोगे बताओ वॉट इज दिस अमाउंट कि वट एवर प्रीमियम आर रिसीव इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू उसको हमने अक्यूमुलेट किया सो so, जैसे उसके नेक्स्ट सेल में जो नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री की प्रीमियम मिली है उसको हमने अक्यूमुलेट करेक्ट करेक्ट हाँ दिस इज नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर में जो प्रीमियम मिला उसको अक्यूमुलेट किया तो उसके पहले तो कोई प्रीमियम मिला ही नहीं सो इट जीरो अब ये सारे वैल्यूज को जब आप एड कर दोगे बेसिकली अब आप ये सारे वैल्यूज को जब आप एड कर दोगे सो दिस इज नथिंग बट वॉट The total fund value, which is on thirty first December twenty nineteen, got it. ठीक है year on year ही करा. Now this is the total. I hope all of you understands now. Um. हाँ. माम एक बार आप starting में जाओगे. Oh yes. So इसके अंदर column F में कैसे calculation हुई है? ये समझ नहीं आया. This is कितना premiums आपको उस साल मिला है? अगर आपने अगस्त में इशू किया है तो आपको कितना प्रीमियम मिला है अगस्त सितंबर अक्टूबर नवंबर दिसंबर पांच प्रीमियम सो मंथ ऑफ दिस एट सेकेंड तो ट्वेल्व माइनस एट कितना होता है फोर प्लस वन क्योंकि ये एट में भी आपको प्रीमियम मिलेगा ना अच्छा ओके क्लियर है एक बार इसको खुद से गो थ्रू करोगे तो और क्लियर होगा This is what I have explained, but एक खुद से भी when you sit and do, I have explained you the concept कि every year का कर रहे हैं This is year end टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन नाइनटी का एंड ऑफ द ईयर दिस इज ये जो नाइनटीन नाइनटी की एंड वाला फिगर है इसको अक्यूमुलेट कर आ रहे हैं थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन तक ठीक है Dear, tell me. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, ma'am. अभी इसको जब add कर देंगे तो हमारा total fund value आ जाएगा. अब इस total fund value को compare करेंगे with the fund values given to us over here in the data section. This fund value, current value. तो हम लोग ने क्या किया है डिफरेंस निकाला है किसका किसका इसका टोटल वैल्यू का एंड द फंड वैल्यू विच इज गिवन टू अस करंट वैल्यू ठीक है तो ये डिफरेंस हो गया क्योंकि ये ऑब्वियसली माइनस प्लस कुछ भी आ सकते हैं वी हैव टेकन आउट द डिफरेंस परसेंटेज के टर्म्स में मतलब एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस डिवाइडेड बाय द करेंट वैल्यू विच इज गिवन अब हम लोग ने क्या करना है ना यहाँ पे हम लोग को देखना है कि टॉलरेंस लेवल आप क्या लेते हो सो इफ द डिफरेंस इज विद इन सम टेन परसेंट और फिफ्टीन परसेंट तो इट इज फाइन इफ इट इज मोर देन दैट तो कोई मिस्टेक है आपके डेटा में यूज द करंट वैल्यू विच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सो दिस इज वॉट दे हैव डन एकदम नीचे में उन्होंने क्या करा है एकदम नीचे में इन्होंने यहां पर देखो They've taken what are the error values, what 
परसेंटेज एरर लेस देन फाइव परसेंट फाइव टेन के बीच में टेन फिफ्टीन के बीच में एंड ग्रेटर देन फिफ्टीन सो काउंट इफ करके हमारा आ गया कि कितने आ, मतलब एरोज है लेस देन फाइव तो यहाँ पे देख रहे हैं ट्वेंटी फाइव एरोज है विच इज ग्रेटर देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट ये जस्ट एक काउंट किया है टॉलरेंस लेवल डिटरमाइन किया है कि इसके अकॉर्डिंग वॉट टॉलरेंस लेवल यू विल टेक कि भाई अगर ट्वेंटी परसेंट के अब एरोर है तो यू टेक द फंड वैल्यू विच यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड अगर उसके नीचे है सो वट एवर द करंट वैल्यू इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन हम लोग वही ले लेंगे सो आई थिंक दे हैव टेकन अ टॉलरेंस सॉरी दे हैव टेकन अ टॉलरेंस ऑफ फिफ्टीन टॉलरेंस क्या लिया इन्होंने फाइव परसेंट they've taken a tolerance of 5% percent acha 15% is something which i took in my exam to bahut high liya tha maine actually 5 15% is a very high tolerance that i took to yahan pe inhone kya kiya hai ki any fund value jiska difference 5% se zyada hai to hum log apna wala current value jo humne calculate kiya hum wo use karenge to dekho this is 2.2 only so they have taken the current value 8992 which is Given in the question, this one. ठीक है जहां पे लेट्स सपोज इट्स नाइनटीन सो लेट्स सपोज जहां पे दिस इज नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव परसेंट तो यहां पर इन्होंने फंड वैल्यू ये ले लिया वन सिक्सटी ये वाला वन सिक्सटी देख लो ये पार्ट क्लियर है गारंटीड वैल्यू कैसे निकाल रहे हैं अच्छा आई विल कम टू दिस टुमारो एंड वील फिनिश दिस पेपर टुमारो सिंस आई हैव अ नेक्स्ट क्लास राइट नाउ तो इसको ना कल हम लोग वील हैव अ टू आवर्स क्लास टुमारो सो दैट वी कैन फिनिश दिस अप एंड व्हाट आई डिड वाज वेरी लाइक मैंने पूरा जो भी इन्होंने इतना बड़ा कैलकुलेशन करा है आई हैव जस्ट आई हैव जस्ट डन द कैलकुलेशन इन वन कॉलम ठीक है सो मैंने कैलकुलेशन एक ही कॉलम में कर दिया सो आई शो यू ऑल द मार्क्स विच आई गेट एंड देन टुमारो वी कैन डिस्कस ऑन दिस आई गॉट आउट ऑफ सिक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड थ्री सो वन एग्जामिनर वॉज गिव मी थ्री एक्चुअली एंड वन एग्जामिनर जस्ट गिव मी वन पॉइंट फाइव बिकॉज मैंने बस जो इतना बड़ा कैलकुलेशन है उसको मैंने आई हैव डन इट इन ओनली वन कॉलम सो दिस इज द एवरेज विच आई गॉट बट आई कंप्लीट दिस टुमारो so just key takeaway is even if you are not able to do this just do whatever you feel like in exam just like what i did and just move to the next part theek hai guaranteed value is very simple they have used the formula which is given in the um paper then cost of guarantee is in dono ka minus karke zero where you have the fund value greater than the guaranteed value so in this case let's suppose the fund value is greater to yahan pe zero aa gaya cost of guarantee is this divided by the fund value and then these are the data fields which we'll be using for the next part all of you clear how this fund value calculations are done because i feel this was the part which was actually a little difficult right in the uh, like start year when we accumulate uh, to suppose if it was in issued in november then we accumulate for 1.5 months and uh, uh, shouldn't the accumulation happen for the whole year in the next year because if it happened for 1.5 months then we are assuming like mid november we are getting premium every year and uh, like the current uh, premium which we got should sustain till mid november of next year and then mid november will again receive the premium for the next year so technically aren't we having the premium for the whole year in the next year also in the so basically this is what you mean na ki yahan pe uh, for this year let's say suppose 2004 ka apne ye ye wala uh, let's suppose 1990 wala this is 756 is the that particular year's premium 1990 ka premium now you are saying 1991 se aapko pura pura lena hai hmm nahi because you are assuming the premiums are received at the middle of the month 
so when you are assuming it's in the middle of the month meaning of premium received on january it's not accumulated for 12 months it's accumulated only for 11.5 months so effectively you are assuming that the annual premium is received in the middle of the year for the first year well for every year actually and to 1991 ka half a year accumulation lenge and 1991 ke baad wo jo amount aaya usko pura 2019 ke end pe accumulate karenge you have assumed so, middle of the month right mm -hmm. so if That's we fine. like uh, accumulate it for the 11.5 month like the next year premium anyways we will get that will ac accommodate for the remaining 1.5 months nahi fir nahi samajh aaya kya uh so if we received in 1991 then uh first premium in november mid november is our assumption then that will go on till 1992 mid november and then we'll again receive the premium for the aise nahi hota hai aise nahi hota hai ab i don't know if you remember what we did in earlier papers if you have made one assumption that the premium is received in the middle of the year You use a use approximation. Oh, He, middle of the year we are assuming. Not ha. Well, I'm like eighteen sixty monthly premium. You are getting middle of the month. So it's yeah. same as it's same as assuming that the annual premium is received middle of the month, middle of the year. Same one, na? Ha ha. तो वो assumption हम कर रहे हैं. तो eighteen sixty जो पूरा मिल रहा है in year nineteen ninety one, assuming कि वो middle of the year मिल रहा है. क्योंकि मंथली प्रीमियम्स आपको मिडिल ऑफ द मंथ मिल रहे हैं इसीलिए ओके थैंक यू ठीक है सो एनी डाउट इन दिस पार्ट बिकॉज आई फील इसके बाद के पार्ट इजी हैं सो वी कैन क्विकली रैप इट अप टुमारो एंड वील आल्सो गो थ्रू द ऑडिट ट्रेल व्हाट आई हैव रिटर्न एंड हाउ मच मार्क्स आई स्कोर सो हाँ एनी डाउट let's discuss it so let's discuss it tomorrow if you all get time at least try to finish this paper and at least try to finish audit trail today itself theek hai okay okay chalo thank you so much bye bye thank you ma'am thank you